Did it work? Hi, my name is Paige. It's nice to meet you. Hi, uh, I'm Goretti. Hi, Paige. Hi. So, how are you doing today? Um, uh, I'm doing okay. Just feeling kind of frustrated. Okay. You wanna maybe expand on that a little bit? What's frustrating you right now? Um, I would say right now, what's giving me more frustration, I would think, would be like my family. Uh, I just can't seem to like get a connection with them, even though they're my family, like with even with my closest friends, I just feel more closer to them and make them feel like more, um, make them feel so we're like more family than my real family. I know it's kind of weird to say. No, no, I understand that. Uh, do you mind giving me a little bit of like background as far as like, are your parents together? Um, do you have any siblings? Kind of where do you fall in that um, sibling lineup if you do? Oh yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, my parents are still together. Um, I'm actually the middle child, so it's kind of like mm, kind of forgot about me type of deal situation. I have an older brother, and I have a younger sister. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't feel like I can connect with them. Or I think it was the situation that growing up they didn't really pay attention to me I kind of was like an independent person did my own thing and kind of like drifted away from them and now that I'm older I'm like I kind of feel like I need that connection that family connection yeah I just you know the holidays are coming up and you know everybody gathers for family and I'm just like I'd rather not deal with that yeah so do you live near your family or are you like completely moved away I completely moved away like as soon as I graduated I was like I'm leaving peace out I'm out you know yeah. type of deal. <laughs> have you guys ever had any really big like conflicts or you just have always kind of felt like you're you're very like separated from the family conflicts whoa um I think the biggest conflict that got to me was um my brother he's like an year older than me they like supported him more in like education they kind of like pushed me aside so like that kind of just made me kind of mad and frustrated but like who am I and then my younger sibling is like well she's the baby you know they get spoiled yeah. and stuff like that but yeah. you know just like ah, I'm done with this so just left yeah so what I hear you saying is you kind of just feel really overlooked as being the middle child in your family um I do have a question though did your parents work a lot growing up or were they pretty present around the house yeah actually that you mentioned that um yeah they they like worked a lot because there were times I didn't see my mom at all she would work like the night shift and you know during school I would go to school and then I wouldn't see her the whole day I wouldn't see her until like the weekend or something like that um my dad he worked the morning shift so I would see him like after school and stuff like that but he was kind of like my dad so I didn't feel very comfortable talking about him and my stuff like my social stuff yeah, yeah so I would just like talk to one of my friends yeah and just kind of vent to them so your friends have really been your support system just growing up and even now today um but you're looking to kind of further your relationship with your parents and your siblings as well or just your parents um I think for right now my parents I think I can handle them my, my siblings probably don't they don't care. You know how siblings are. You can just be kind of obnoxious or, you know. Yeah. So was there ever any time in your life where you felt like you had a close connection with either your mom or your dad? Or is it, are they both just kind of been pretty distant? Um, I would say I was closer with my dad just because I saw him more often. Like I would play sports and he'd go support me. And I really liked that. So like good support when he go watch me play soccer. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, I got something, you know, some support from my family. Yeah. So then how does it make you feel um, if you don't feel like you're getting that support? Like, was there times where you didn't have anyone in the stands um, watching you play? Um, yeah, there was a couple of times because I think my dad had to like, my sister had like another activity. He would go to my sister since she was younger. Um, I felt like kind of like lonely, like nobody really was there for me kind of feel. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so tell me 
tell me what you would like your guys' relationship to be like, maybe individually, like, what would you like your relationship with your mom to be? And then what would you like your relationship with your dad to be? Uh, okay. Ooh, making me think. Um, <laughs> um, I guess when my mom started talking to her, say like, oh, this is what I'm doing today, or this is what I achieved today, like at school, like, mm-hmm. I guess, um, I'm a social worker. That's what I'm studying. Um, today, I, I led an appointment. So, you know, kind of a good thing awesome. for me, but it might not be for my mom. But I would like to share that to my mom. So do you ever um, reach out to your parents and do they just not reciprocate it back or do you guys just not have any communication? Um, I would say, um, yeah, I have some communication here and there, but it's not like I guess you would say loving, like, oh, good job. I'm so proud of you type of deal. They're like, oh, good job. Keep keep working. Yeah. Yeah. So it feels like maybe a pretty surface level, like conversation. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I understand that. And that can be hard too, because, and t- correct me if I'm wrong, but does it make you feel like you're putting more effort into the relationship as the kid? Yeah. Yeah. For like, for not being the parent, yeah. I was like, aren't you guys supposed to be the parents? <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so then what would you like your relationship with your dad to look like um for my dad since I talk to him here and there more often than my mom I would say I guess not like you said not talk surface level talk more like deep conversation saying I don't know like um, honestly don't know what kind of deep conversations I can have with them yeah um I don't know um, so do you do you think there's a chance that possibly um your siblings feel this way too or do you think it's more of just you feeling kind of overlooked as the middle child that's a really like see that's the problem I haven't really talked to them so maybe I'm just overlooking it and they feel different or that's yeah something I really need to get to yeah, that'd be interesting to find out if um, they also feel the same way you do. Um, and maybe that's just your parents' parenting style is pretty like hands off and kind of just letting you do your own thing. Um, so is this something that you would like to talk to your parents, like sit them down and say, hey, like I want to better our relationship. Here's kind of what I want. Or is this something that you more or less just want to try to do yourself without like saying it out loud that this is what you're doing Mm. um I would say like you say start deep conversations I would like to start that deep conversation with them and tell them how I feel I guess that's a great way to like open it up I feel yeah like idea so what what kind of common interests do you guys have do you know if you guys have any common interests or maybe something that maybe just think of like two things you guys you could bring up to them to start a conversation is there anything you can think off off the top of your head um I guess we can talk about our favorite food we like foods about like our Hispanic food or like tamales I guess I can start asking my mom like how do you make tamales or something like that yeah yeah make her feel like she's like helping you and kind of opening that that gate up Mm -hmm. um okay cool so as far as for next time, I'm kind of thinking it'd be good if we brainstorm or if you brainstorm a list that you guys could talk about maybe. So some conversation topics, kind of like you just said with um, talking to them about food, maybe think of a couple other things that you can talk to them about. Um, and then another thing that I am curious about is, do you foresee any possible conflicts with getting a closer relationship with your family? Hmm. I think since I've been so distanced from them, I don't think so. I think they will be okay seeing me. That's what I think, but I don't. Okay, so you don't feel like there'll be any resentment there? from? Yeah, I think think they'll be open for it. Okay, cool. Hope so. (laughs) It's been a while since I talked to them, so. Yeah, and then um, when's the last time you saw them in person, actually? Do you know? Uh, I guess it's been a while <laughs> it's a, a year I guess I could say oh, wow. wow yeah that's crazy yeah. okay so yeah as far as next time let's um let's try to dig a little bit deeper into your family structures 
and how things were growing up, uh, you know, in times of conflict. Um, also, I want you to try and make a genogram. Have you ever heard of a genogram before? Um, not really. Can you briefly go over it for me? Yeah. So a genogram is like a physical description of or a physical like presentation of your family structures or any kind of unit structures. So um, I'm going to go ahead and give you like a handout with different um, symbols. It's kind of like a key. So different symbols on um, how you would draw your genogram. So it's pretty much going to be your family and your extended family listed on there. And then you can put different symbols that indicate how you feel those people's relationships are. So say, for example, um, your, your mom and her sister fight a lot. There could be a different symbol put on their genogram to, and to indicate that they don't have that strong of a relationship. And then maybe eventually we can talk about those different relationships and see how they affect you and affect your family unit. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, just like kind of like a graph type of yeah, deal. Right? Kind of like a graph. And so that way it's gonna give me a little bit of a, a bigger picture and a better picture on what your family looks like. And we can start kind of digging into that and seeing maybe why your parents do have a hands-off um, parenting style or why your sister and your mom don't get along type of thing. So um, I think that'd be helpful in going, for, going forward with us um, building a better relationship with your family is to understand the relationship you guys have right now. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes completely sense. Uh, honestly, that feels kind of like a relief to see where that tension is at. Yeah. I really like the idea. And sometimes that visual can just be nice to be like, oh, okay, this relationship is where I need to put some work in or maybe where I need to address a problem. So, um, but do you have any questions? Like I said, I'll give you a handout. So it should be pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. Not that I know of, it sounds pretty simple. Yeah. I okay, think cool. Cool. Well, I will see you next time. Okay. Thank you for uh, chatting with me. And it was really nice to meet you. Thank you as well. Thank you.